Okay, and we are back. Um, let's see here. Let's go to my cam two. Zoom myself out so at least one of these cameras you guys can see me in. Hey, everybody. We are back. Uh, you can see here we've got um, we've got six cameras plugged into the joystick controller. Um, it's been really it's been really really fun. Um, let's just briefly show how this is set up one more time. Because I think it's a, it's a cool setup. Magewell is... And by the way, Tom Sinclair did build this c custom crazy PC for us. Um, so let me show how, how we have everything set up one more time. Uh, here we go. So as you can see here, here's how the control's working. So the joystick... We couldn't get this last audio working. They don't have 8-pin mini DIN controllers. Apparently Sony's getting rid of Visca. Um, but you can see here, here's the... Uh, the controller goes up to the first camera, daisy chains in and out to the next, and to the next, and to the next. That's how I have four cameras being controlled by a single joystick. Um, and then we have our cameras in a shootout. Everything's going into Magewell capture cards. We've got a beast of a PC here built by Eastern Shore Broadcasting. Great uh, computer there with a quad core. Looking at all these different cameras, we just showed them all off, so we're just answering questions now here in the post show. Um, so let's let's do exactly that. So first question we have here: um, Smart AV in Turkey is asking, what is the behavior of the PTZ Optics cameras after a power shortage cut? Does it go to standby mode or does it um, zoom into the last setting? So this is a good question. Um, when the camera turns back on, on the back of each camera, actually, why don't I just go ahead and zoom in on it? Let's see, is this the right one? Yes. It's going to look a little funny, but here it is. Um, do you see the on-off switch right here? On, off, on, off. If it's in the on setting and it goes, it goes this is the on-off switch, right? So if there's no power and the on switch is on, nothing's going to happen, obviously. Power goes off, power comes back on, on switch is on, camera turns on, it does a little boot-up dance, and then once the boot-up dance is over, um, it will basically um, go to what it considers its home preset. And the home preset uh, is the same as this home button right here at the center of the remote, and there is a way to to have that, but I'm not sure, uh, I forget what it is. There's a, there's a special preset. It might be preset 99. Uh, you'd have to ask my engineers, uh, it, but there is a preset. By the way, I wanted to mention that this whole guide that we, um, we looked at, where is it, right here? This whole guide here on camera aperture and shutter speed, in fact, I think it's here. Um, there's a really nice guide on uh, the ideal camera settings for shooting live video. I just really quickly, it's, there's a free download below. You guys can download it at. Um, but the reason why it's so important is because we go over camera settings and aperture, shutter speed, color balance, um, contrast, noise reduction, all of these different things and really go into the details. And... Um, the reason why we spend so much time on this is because when you're doing live video, right, when you're doing video that's completely live, you, you don't have time to do post-production. It needs to be right the first time. So in that, in, you know, in that vein, basically, uh, it has to be done that way. Um, it has to be done right the first time. You don't have a chance to, uh, to do anything. There's no do-overs. You're live streaming. We're live now. Um, doesn't look like anyone's joined, but there is a, uh, a 415 number. You can call in and ask questions. Always uh, always love it if people can do that. Um, any last questions before we wrap this up? I thought it was a fun show. I thought we did a good job. We did our best showing off all the different cameras, and I thought it was fun. So thank you so much for joining. This is why we do the show for our live viewers. There's hundreds and hundreds of people who watch afterwards. But uh, you guys here today are, you know, why we do this show. And I think it was a successful one. Um, so thanks so much, everybody. If you've got any last 
last year request to see a specific camera doing a specific thing. I did actually get some test footage uh, from the uh, live sporting event. Why don't we go ahead and show that? Here's the 20x SDI. Oh, start that over. Zooming in, there's a little bit of a vibration because we had it on a table. Um, but this is the 20x SDI fully zoomed in at 1080p 60. A little overexposed. Uh, we're going to go back and get, get some new settings because it was a little off. The Huddle Cam Air, that's a good question. Um, the Huddle Cam Air is going to be um, revived with the Gen 2, but I think it's going to be sometime in 2017. Uh, it's going to be a completely different camera. We're, we're, we're shooting for a $1,000 price point, which is going to be really nice. So it's going to be different. It's going to be a lot different. Here's the Robo shot in the... Um, The content in the 24-hour live stream is updated at the end of each week. Um, but a lot of it's still like a, a roulette of things that are there. So it, it, it gets updated once a week, but it still keeps a lot of the old stuff. And then here's the Sony SRG in live, uh, live sports there. So yeah, we, we do update that footage in the... Um, in the huddle cam air with uh, for the 24-hour live stream, but a lot of it's it's all recycled content. Obviously, it's not fully live. So there's the cameras we reviewed. I think it was a good a good review. I got to go return all these cameras now, <laughs> but I think we got we got some really good footage. Maybe I'll keep them around for one more week. I I, I miss some footage. When you go out and you do a live a live shoot, uh, and you miss something that was important that you need. Uh, you go back for a pop-up shoot, is what it's called in, in uh, filmmaking. You go out, you try to get everything, you try to get everything you think you could possibly need in post-production or whatever, um, and then you obviously always miss something. You forget something. So um, that is why we're going to have to go back and do some new sports footage, but uh, it'll be worth it. We're going to get some, basically, one of our computers uh, wasn't powerful enough to do 1080p60 recording. So, like, half of the footage we got from the sporting event uh, was kind of choppy, and the frame rate wasn't smooth, so that didn't, didn't bode well. And then we made the mistake of not fully tuning everything, and, uh, you know, you really have to look at these cameras on a nice, high-contrast field monitor, honestly, um, to be able to do... Uh, high quality recordings and unfortunately we didn't do that we learned something every time so we're going to do that next anyway thank you so much for watching everybody that's all the time we have today it seems like we answered all the questions I'm really happy to have you all thank you so much for being here I'm going to roll the credits and thank you so much again this has been a pleasure you guys are the best